Uh, so we just arrived in Honduras. It's really hot. It's really sunny. Kelvin, wave. Everybody wave. There he is. Everybody wave. All right. It's, in, okay. it's pretty warm. I'm wearing pants. I regret it, but that's okay. Jack, what did we just find out? These guys found out that this ride is six hours. Six hours in in here. I have a feeling these white boys is gonna burn, <laughs> and maybe even these dark boys. So strap in. I'll give you an update. I'm still wearing pants. That might change. Well, see, it's day one here, and we're making our trek up to the orphanage. We're going up. Uh, 7,000 foot mountain here on a cattle truck with approximately 12 people in it. We're carrying about 3,000 pounds of luggage. It will be a great trek. We're, uh, the road is a little bumpy and we got about an hour left on it. Here, you gotta get this but the view, the view is pretty good. Pretty stellar. We're still going up the river, up the mountain. There's a pretty cool view up there. I don't think you can really see it, but it's pretty nice. It's the first morning. We all slept like rocks last night. Um, we just had breakfast, cleaning up, but it's really nice out. It is beautiful here. You look below me, there is many things happening. Um, Zach, Zach, tell me your favorite thing about today. Shoveling dirt. Sh shoveling dirt. You wouldn't believe it. You heard it here first, folks. Trent, how's it feel getting your hands dirty? You good? Yeah. Trent's had a hard day. <laughs> Trent's been working his butt off. What about Nolan over here? He looks like Nolan. He's... Nolan's wearing a shirt and he's not wearing a shirt. Anyone, everyone should just, uh, you know, appreciate that. It's good. So. You can't tell we're in the jungle. And we're climbing. Keep walking, Jack. We're Whoa! Just, we're hiking up the trail. Jack, give me a view back here. Yeah, good shot. See, we've been hiking now for maybe 20 minutes. We stop about every three. Oh, really? Stopping about every three. Seeing the sights. And, uh, you know, making sure everyone's well rested, well hydrated. But... Jack and I are having a good time here in the jungle. He's wearing ankle-high white socks with some Nikes. And uh, it feels like we're on an adventure. It's just us here. We're lost in the mountains. Yeah, we're just us. We're lost. No guide. Uh, but, but we're kind of... Tom's native to the area. So. Yeah, as you can tell. We're climbing this mountain, and uh, David decided that we should swing on some vines. So he just, like, cut down this giant tree with a machete. And, uh, Jax, your fingers are in there. No, there it's go. not. It's not. They were thinking about it. But, uh, now I'm going to swing on the vine, so. Uh, we just got done climbing for, like, two hours. And it is worth it. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but I'm standing, like, on top of a big old mountain hill thing. Yeah, Megan, where are you? Can you see where? Alright, I think it's day three now. We are still oiling the bridge. So I'm going to give you a little shot at what I've been doing for like two days. And uh, it's pretty fun. 
Zach and I are getting very oily. I don't know how much oil is on my face even. There's no mirrors here, so it's pretty fun. We got a sweet little suspension bridge. I don't know if you can see it very well. I'm shaking. My arms are tired. But we are oiling the bridge, and of course, Zach and I are on the underside because it's impossible. But I'm remaining positive. So, a lot of our day has been spent with the ladder leaned up. And we gotta just paint this bridge. This bridge was brown when we started. And we're just painting uh, motor oil on it. But about a couple more hours and we'll be done. And I'm pumped about it. Uh, today's been a tough morning. We had to work and uh, we got a big old slab to pour this morning. So we have to mix the cement over here in this big pile. Essentially you take a big pile of dirt, mix in cement, and uh, we haul it in five gallon pails over to here and they're pouring the floor up in there so that's been today it's a lot of work very tiring give me a thumbs up Zach Reese Well, it's been a couple days, and we are just finishing up a job that, of all the jobs, it wasn't that physically demanding, but it would just kind of suck. Zach, what do we do? Well, just, we fixed the screen door in front of the guest house. There's a big hole next to the handle, so we replaced the screen, and it looked like a hour job, and it turned into a day and a half job. We just didn't exactly have the right tools, so yesterday and today has kind of been making this look pretty much like that but uh, another project we did was we leveled a big mound of dirt that was over by the the bridge the hanging bridge had to move a big rock weighed a couple hundred pounds um, now I think we're about to head down and pour some more cement so we're cleaning up and we're gonna get after that and uh, I'll check in a little bit later um, winding down we only got today and tomorrow left for work so we're gonna try finish and uh, finish strong it's been good uh, it's not good tired tired Tom kept me up all night yeah Jack was talking about women right, right. Jack, what were their names Jack I can't remember their names. yeah okay they're making uh, making tortillas in the clay oven over here. They're making some cigarettes. Pretty neat. Those look good. We made pizzas in here the other day. So Steiner thinks he's gonna eat a scorpion here. My doubt. I have my doubts. So I think he's gonna wimp out. Dude, this guy's for real. I want to see you put it in. Let's go, Steiner. <laughs> Pop it in. Should I bite it? Yeah. Just chew it up. Better bite it. Or else gonna just sting your tongue. Go with just crunch it. Crunch it. I think he's chicken it out. There's no. <laughs> there's no way <laughs> this happens. Chew keep it. Going, chew hard. it. Keep going on. Keep going on. Chew it. Chew keep it. Swallow. Go hard. Go hard. Go hard, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> 
Is it swallowed? Oh my god, there's taste in my mouth. <laughs> Oh, how was it, bud? You know, I honestly thought he's gonna. I stuck him up my throat. What? Hey, the, a leg. See a leg. <laughs> a leg. Just, he did it. I'm surprised, actually. <laughs> We're gonna have a fun day. Whatever that is. So it's Friday, fun day. Fun day, Sunday. It's not Sunday, but, but it is fun day. It is fun day. So we just stopped at a resort here. Right, so we get an access through the people who started the orphanages. Dad. Dad. So we're just chilling on the beach. Apparently there's a big wave, so this used to all be beach, but the the wad, this huge wave, like knocked out all the sand. So Zach and I are just sitting in a hammock. Feels good. We're going zip lining in a, about an hour, so we're just gonna hang out until then. I got a little bit of a rumble in my tumble, which hasn't been the best. Me and Jackson shared a bed last night, a twin. It was tight. Hey, boys. Yeah. Try things, but I'm always freaked out. Before. It's harder when we're done. <laughs> Zach, just tell me the situation. I don't feel like talking. So we're at the top of this here mountain, ready to zip line down the canopy tour. Right here we have a beautiful view of the Gulf of Mexico. I don't know. Oh, that's, that's the, the ocean. It's the Gulf. And so, yeah, we're gonna have, we're gonna have some fun. I'm literally just dying. dragging. I'm a little sick. He got the Honduras vlog. <laughs> Waited till the last day. Got it. So, Daddy, what's going on? We were eating at a power chicken restaurant, which is a food chain of hunger. It's true. How are you feeling now? Well, I don't feel like absolute filth anymore. I just feel like kind of crappy. Let's just say I'm going to sleep good on the bed tonight. Right, boy? 